Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. I have just gotten home from doing some thrifting and I was really excited about the things that I picked up tonight. So I wanted to get on here real quick and show you so that way I can get started on listing and getting this stuff sold. So I have a nice sized bag right here. This is uh, from our local Goodwill and I have quite a bit of stuff here. I spent about $87 or so. That was um, that was after the 10% discount that they give. So they give a 10% discount as long as you spend $20 or more um, on your purchase. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that I purchased and let me know your thoughts in the comments. So here we go. First one I purchased were these Patagonia shoes. I've never seen these before. They look like they're in decent condition. They do need to be washed up, but the soles of them have a ton of wear left to them. Um, so I'm gonna get these washed and cleaned up and ready to be sold. These are a size, I can't tell if it's a six and a half or eight and a half, but one of the two. Um, from the way they look, it looks like maybe a six and a half, but um, I'll get those cleaned up. There's one thing that I purchased in here. Actually, there's quite a bit that I purchased in this bag that I was really excited about, but one thing in particular. So um, I have it all folded up really nicely. So we'll try not to unfold it terribly. <clears throat> well, that didn't work very well. All right, so I grabbed this L.L. Bean men's flannel and it is, no, it's not L.L. Bean. It's Duluth Trading and it is in a size 2XL. So great size, decent brand. And then I purchased this top. At first I didn't think much of it. So it's just this like brown and white striped top. And then I saw the tag and I was like, ooh, that says Fender on it. I was like, okay. So I turned to the back and look at the back. Look how awesome that is. That is really cool. Um, so this is a size that's, they marked it as a size XL. I'm not seeing the official. Oh, yep. It is an XL. So <clears throat> decent size, fun brand, fun design on the back of it. So I'm excited to get that listed and see if I can get a like 30, $35 out of it. I don't know. We'll see, but be awesome if I can. I also purchased this Ralph Lauren Polo long sleeve men's cotton um, shirt. So Polo by Ralph Lauren in an XL. It's in fantastic condition. I've passed up on a bunch of those here recently just because they've had so much fading at the collar or on the sleeves or what have you. Um, so I'm really starting to be much, much more picky. Um, uh, initially, I was like, not as picky, but now that I my inventory has really built up, I'm starting to be a lot more picky. So that way, better quality, higher price kind of philosophy. All right, I also purchased this Wrangler shirt. It is Pearl Snaps. Um, so there's the tag on it. It is a size XL. This one is in great condition. It actually feels like it's brand new. I, I think it's probably just been starched, but it feels brand new. I also grabbed this one. I need to do some more research, but I felt good about um, grabbing it. It's the Jordan brand. It's a size large, so like a Jordan basketball tank type thing. Um, so I felt pretty good about purchasing it. I just don't know where I'm gonna be at on pricing. So I've gotta comp that out a little bit better. This was one I had never heard of. I looked it up, I bought it. It was new with tags. Um, <clears throat> oop, the tag is in the way. So FinTech, it's a fishing brand. Um, it's an XL. The tag says that it originally sold for $29.99. It looked like it was reselling um, brand new with tags in the $20 range. So that's why I picked that one up. I also purchased, oh, these are kind of funky. I had never heard of this brand. It's called Aku, I guess is how it's pronounced. 
but they are men's shorts. These were only $3.99. And um, when I looked them up in the store, they were going for about $35. So I, I was like for $3.99 and we're getting into closer to the season of shorts. We're not there yet, but we're getting closer. So that one I think was a good purchase. I hope, fingers crossed. I also found this Gymshark shirt. It's kind of cool because it has the Gymshark all the way down the backside. Now the um, sizing material tag and all of that has been cut out of it. So I will have to do the measurements, um, but it looks like it's probably a medium or a large. I found this Foot Joy Polo golf seasons right around the corner. And Foot Joy has always done well for me. Anytime I have purchased it, it sells within a matter of a few weeks. So, and this one is a size large. All right. Oh, yeah, I purchased these. Um, I've heard other people talk about them. So the brand is Rag and & Bone. And they are a pair of men's. I believe they're men's. Yes, they are men's jeans. This is the logo on the back of them. These were $7.99 or $7.19 uh, with my discount. Um, and I think I should be able to get, if I recall correctly, I should be able to get in like the 35-ish, maybe even more than that for these, hopefully. I'll have to comp them out again before I list them, but hopefully, fingers crossed, that's what I can get. Let's see. Oh, this is a brand called Fat Farm. And um, some of these went for a lot of money and some of them went for a little bit of money. And so some of the vintage ones went for a lot more. I'm not sure if this one is vintage. I'm gonna have to do my research to figure that out. Um, that's what the knees look like. Um, but some of them were like $100 or more, and then some of them were like $20. So I'm not 100% sure, um, but I felt like it was worth the gamble. Um, even if it sold for $20, uh, they, they're worth the gamble. So I'm going to have to figure out, are these vintage? Are they not vintage? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, oh, this one. I was excited. I actually have to thank the gentleman who handed me these. We were talking about reselling and different things and he was telling me about another store that he had just been down to. He wasn't a reseller, but um, he said this place had all kinds of Harley Davidson stuff that they had just put out. And I was like, oh, it was like a half hour from here or from where I was. And I was like, surely it's not gonna be there, but I might go tomorrow. But he said um, he was going through his size of jeans and I was going through the other side so that way we weren't kind of you know clashing into one another and he knew that I was a reseller and he was like hey do you want these and I said yes please Burberry these are Burberry jeans never found those in the wild before so that was kind of exciting there's the Burberry tag there this is what the back side looks like. They are in fantastic condition. They are women's. Um, and I looked them up and probably in the $60 range. So I was kind of excited about those. <laughs> and then my last item in the bag is these brand new with tags. They are, ab um, they are, no, they're Banana Republic. They're the Traveler Banana Republic. And I want to say these, I can't remember the comps now, but I want to say they were like 40 and up. Um, so I really felt like tonight's trip was really, really good. Um, I, I actually wasn't even going to stop in a Goodwill. I was on my way to um, Sam's Club and there's a Goodwill right next to Sam's Club. So I was like, well, I'll just stop in for just a couple of minutes. Well, a couple of minutes turned into an hour. And then I have my husband reaching out. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I just got sucked into a Goodwill. It's fine. Uh, but no, I think I did really, really well in uh, tonight's purchase. And I am excited. So uh, I'm going to start getting this stuff listed and ready to be sold.
Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy this content as much as I enjoy putting it out and as much as I enjoy shopping for this stuff. So I'll see you soon.